Ed Palace Safari joins us here on QS TV. And Powell, let's start with the, the letter on your jersey there. Let's see, what, what's it mean to be a captain of this team here as a senior? Certainly an added responsibility, but uh, truly an honor to be voted by um, my teammates, um, especially to be able to make an uh, impact on the younger guys um, right off the bat is uh, truly special. You always wonder how a team's going to come into being every year because guys are lost and uh, we'll start on your defensive end of the field as a, a D-Midi. you got to replace a guy like uh, Brandon Mullins and a guy like Jay McDermott. How have guys uh, filled that role right now? You know, I, I'd like to think that every year we, we have young guys who have the ability to step up. Mm -hmm. um, and this year I, I truly believe that we got a bunch of young guys who are, who are filling the roles nicely. Um, along with some guys who are returning, such as Scott and uh, Nick Mellon. Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely com a more comfortable feeling to have those guys on the back line or uh, part of our defense, um, along with me and Joe Gillis. So we have a couple a couple veterans there who, who will, will be able to help um, the young guys out. All right, let's talk about a couple of guys you mentioned there. First, Scott Furman. We noticed the C on your jersey. We're going to notice the number 11 that he's wearing, which means a lot right now. What does it say about Scott that he's got that number on right now? Scott's an unbelievable guy, an unbelievable lacrosse player. He's uh, really deserving of that number uh, to follow guys like Penarelli and Joel White. Scott is, is definitely um, a, a leader on the defensive end and just a leader in the team in general. And Nick Mellon should stand out probably as your best close defender this year as only a sophomore. Is he ready for that role this season? I believe he is. I mean, he, he made strides last year. Um, he's definitely still young, definitely still can learn a ton of things, mm -hmm. um, but that's what we're going to try to do this year. We're going to try to grow him as a, as a defenseman and uh, groom him as much as possible to be hopefully one of the best defensemen in the country. And last year uh, behind you guys at goal, that was a situation that kind of developed as the year went along, and then Evan really took that job down the stretch. To have him as the starter in the off season and now in camp to get ready, how, how much does that help you guys out from the start that he's in there ready to go? It's an unbelievable feeling to have a, not only a teammate but a buddy like that um, barking orders at you just because you're familiar with the voice, you're familiar with who he is as a person, mm -hmm. um, and he's you know he's familiar with the defense. So it's it's comfortable. It ma it makes players who are playing in front of him comfortable, um, and allows us to do our jobs. Um, Plain and simple. Yeah, he's a guy that you know. Hey, he waited his turn. Maybe didn't know his turn was going to come. To see him succeed like this, is it more special that way? Yeah, I mean, I, I came in with Evan, so um, we've been in the same class. I've lived with Evan for four years, so I've 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 really seen him grow as as a as a goalie, um, and just for him to be able to give this opportunity is truly special. I know to him, his family, um, and he is grateful for it. Matt, let me ask you the big picture, season-long question. We know your goals and Syracuse's goals are one thing every year. How hard is that now in college lacrosse? There's so many good teams to, to get to a Final Four, to win those national championships. Yeah, with the sport growing across the country so much, it's it's definitely getting harder. All the parity last year with uh, ACC teams being mm -hmm. beaten by teams they don't normally get beaten by. Um, so yes, it's, it's definitely much harder than it was, say, 10 years ago, but um, we're confident. We have the best players in the country on the field. We just got to put it together. All right. Should be another fun year, Paolo. Enjoy it. Absolutely. Thank you.